Oh, we're going to be talking about a lot of numbers now as well. It's all got to do with vaccinations and the possibility uh, of a lockdown. There has been a noticeable decline in the country's COVID-19 uh, vaccination numbers. Over 13 million doses have been administered nationally. About 6.7 million are now fully vaccinated uh, as well around uh, the country. So let's just look at some of the numbers. Let's unpack uh, what they mean as far as trends are concerned. And we're going to look at vaccination numbers by province and thank heavens there is somebody who's a lot smarter at maths uh, than I am well really anybody smarter at maths than I am uh, Suga and Naidu uh, joining us this morning an applied maths honors graduate uh, who posts COVID-19 stats uh, online Suga and good morning uh, to you a number of slides we have to go through and I'm going to literally uh, lead you into this because anything more than three numbers is going to start confusing me uh, so Suga Naidu good morning what are you looking at first what are the trends telling us yeah, so the first slide that comes up is the number of vaccines per day in South Africa. And you'll notice that about two weeks ago, there was a there was a big spike when the 18 to 35s opened up. But since then, it started declining. So last year was also a decent week. We had about 250,000 per day on each weekday. But this week, you can see it's already down to about 200,000 a day. And at the current rates, we, we're not going to reach our targets uh, come December. So at the current rate, we're probably only going to have about 40% of adults vaccinated at the start of December, which, which is way too low. Uh, it is way too low. If you look at the, the targets we've been talking about, some 70% and above to try and reach uh, this herd immunity. And I think this is where we're also going to unpack, Sugan, uh, with our other guests on vaccinations, why we saw such a spike. We're going to call them the TikTok generation. But then we're starting to see that uh, number come down as well. All right, slide two, what numbers do you have for us? Yeah, so slide two is the vaccines per province or the percentage of people fully vaccinated per province. And over here you can see there's quite a big disparity. So some provinces have been doing quite well, um, Eastern Cape, Limpopo, and Western Cape started off a bit slow, but they've been picking up quite well in the last few weeks. Um, but I think the major concern is that you can see the likes of KZN and Kauteng, the two most populated provinces, and they, they lag back uh, a bit. And the problem with counting especially is that it's surrounded by some of the smaller provinces, Northwest and Kubalanga Limpopo, and we've noticed in the past that uh, when numbers go up in Kauteng, it affects the smaller provinces. So with Kauteng lagging behind, if if there is to be a, a wave starting over there in Kauteng, it's going to affect all the provinces around it. So that's why it's so important that Kauteng's vaccina vaccination numbers pick up so that if uh, the fourth wave starts over there, the impact on the other provinces won't be as great. Mm. Uh, what I'm finding interesting as well is uh, we're now starting to make sure that we're, we're differentiating, Sugan, between those adults that are, are fully vaccinated and those who've only had yes. their first jab. I'm going to ask our team just to bring that back up. Uh, if we can bring that second okay. slide back up, guys, we're going to just talk about this for a second because uh, the fully vaccinated numbers as well, Sugan, it was, uh, the numbers were a bit small for me to see. So just take us through those okay. fully vaccinated numbers. I'm particularly interested uh, in Limpopo, KZN mm -hmm. and Gauteng. Yeah, so Limpopo has been doing really well. Um, I'm not sure the reason why, but uh, they, they're about over 20%. And Eastern Cape's also doing very well, over 20%. So for those two provinces and uh, Western Cape, they, they're leading the way. Uh, but KZN, I'm not sure what happened to KZN. KZN starts off really well. Mm. But then after, I remember the week of the riots, after that week, numbers have dropped and they haven't really recovered. But before that, KZN was leading the way in terms of fully vaccinated. So I'm not really sure what it can be attributed to, the drop from in KZN. But uh, with such a large population, it is quite worrying because um, you, you don't want to see these largely populated places with low vaccine numbers. It just, it just enables spread to happen quicker. It does, and I think a lot of the concern, uh, we spoke to a few experts about the kind of impact those um, riots had on the vaccination. I mean, so many vaccination sites were damaged uh, as a result, mm -hmm. if not completely destroyed. Other problems were uh, the, the, the vaccination uh, transport, the, the logistics behind getting uh, vaccines to those vaccine sites that no longer existed were also affected. So I think we've got that long tail of effects uh, yeah. uh, happening I, I, in KZN. Uh, maybe certain sites haven't recovered from that as yet, so uh, that, that's the problem. Let's talk about slide three. What do you have for us? Uh, yeah, so the next two slides is the current admissions in hospitals. And I think this is really important because when it comes to lockdown levels, restrictions especially, um, 
hospital numbers are one of the main factors that is being looked at. And the encouraging thing is that hospital numbers are starting to decline. So if you look at the first slide, um, only Eastern Cape is still slightly going up, but it's not too bad. But uh, the main thing is that Gauteng, Western Cape and KZN have all seen a marked decline in hospital admissions over the last two to three weeks. And well, Gauteng has been going down for over a month now, but uh, it's encouraging to see that KZN and Western Cape also started declining quite quickly now. And uh, Sugan, do we have a fourth slide? I'm not sure if we had a fourth slide for our uh, chat yeah, this morning. The fourth slide is, is just the, the other five provinces, the smaller provinces, mm. uh, their uh, hospital admissions. So, so also with the smaller provinces, their admissions are also starting to going down. Um, Good. Free State and Northern Cape, they've been a bit odd. I can't really explain it, but they've been a bit up and down for the last few months. But uh, all the other provinces are seeing a marked decline in hospital admissions. So I think that... Um, maybe in about two weeks' uh, time, we, we should see some sort of restrictions being eased um, because at the current rate, we should see hospital numbers dec decline quite quickly. Well, that's what I was actually going to ask you as my last question. I'm going to put you on the spot, Sugan. we always told that we're basing these lockdown restrictions, uh, the National Coronavirus Command Council, looking at numbers, and no one looks at numbers like you do. Do you think we could be having a family meeting soon, going from level three to level two? And is that something that you think is a good idea based on the numbers that you know so well? Yeah, I, I think so. I think probably not right now. I think in certain provinces, uh, hospital numbers are still a bit high. Um, but I think maybe in about two weeks' time, it's probably a, a strong possibility that we could see, in about two to three weeks' time, that we, we should see some sort of restrictions being eased. Um, actually, as it is, I feel some provinces are ready to move to a lower level, but I'm not sure if they plan on having a differentiated approach or if they want the same level for the whole country. So um, that's why maybe some provinces haven't moved to a lower level yet. But mm -hmm. I, I would say... In, I think in about two weeks' time, we, we should maybe hopefully uh, get some restrictions relaxed. Yeah. I appreciate your time. Love the way you've unpacked the numbers for us. Nice and simple, so that even someone like me can understand. Uh, Suga Naidu, Applied Maths Honours graduate. I'm sure we're going to speak to him again uh, in the coming weeks.